Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my stock science mode exploration in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where we are around Jewel of Spaceship 1 and I need to get a whole bunch of batteries off of the refueler even though actually all those batteries combined like doesn't really give us enough to transmit the science but I guess if we just don't fill up the science completely it'll be all right, right? If I, I hope. Uh, I hope it's the case that uh, if we have 250 signs, it'll be able to transmit properly. I just can't have it up fully topped off. So that'll be the plan, and we need one of the Kerbals to get out. I guess Neri Kerman. I I think I'd like the hatch side to be facing the sun. So I'm going to roll around here. And then we're going to grab those batteries. And then we're going to do some more science around the moons of Jewel. Now again, this is just the first of many such spaceships. There, there are going to be big spaceships like this, well, larger than this. And they're going to be big landers. That's why I decided to do this in science mode instead of in career mode. Because I felt like, uh, considering my plans, the cost of things would be prohibitive. I wanted to build big things. And so we're going to have big launchers, and we're gonna. Uh oh, it's still rotating a bit. Um, and we're going to not care so much about the cost. <laughs> the goal is to really push the capabilities of KSP one a bit. Given that I'm not using a whole lot of mods, I would like to really get large part count sort of things. Pretty good reach. I'm impressed. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, maybe that was supposed to be there. Oops. No, I'm going I'm going too far away. Uh I've got this thing. I don't even know where that battery just went. Okay, yes. Stopping is good. I feel like... Okay, well, we've got eight batteries there, so that's right. Uh, let's try and make them neater, I suppose. Alright, so I think that's it, right? Okay, so we're going to decouple the tender. Maybe I should have used the mob propellant, but... Or moved over the mob propellant. We are a little bit short of mod propellant. Um, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Uh, we just won't use that so much, I'll be patient. Okay, so... Now let's try to get uh, try to get somewhere a little bit more decisively because we really need to use the scanner. And if there's any place that we really need to use the scanner, it's Tylo. But we have to get into a polar orbit around Tylo. Maybe I should go elsewhere first, though. Oh, but that's pretty good right there. But getting into orbit around Tylo, well, Tylo is very powerful though, so maybe it won't be so bad getting into orbit around Tylo. I mean, that's looking good for a polar orbit right there. But we have 1,248, it says. We can do it. Why don't we park around Tylo? And then we, we can send something else out here to refuel it more. And then eventually bring it back. But Tylo, we would like to refuel on the surface of if we ever land on it. So, sounds like a good plan. We need to scan it. So, we will do this burn. Tylo will also be a nice safe place to leave this. Okay, point one off. Let's see if that's good enough. I'd like to get a little bit closer. I don't know what altitude the scanning altitude for Tylo is, but... 
Let's drive for 250. And then when we capture. Yeah, that's about 500 there. Okay, so next little burn to make sure that we get close to Tylo. Okay, ignition. And, oop, okay, turn, turn, turn. More ignition. Okay, probably good enough. All right, let's go to Tylo and see exactly what altitudes it wants us to be at so that we can adjust that. But we're looking at a 538 meter per second burn right now. Let's see, how much additional science have we got here now? 400 already. Well, let's just... Uh, just transmit science and see how much charge it takes. We don't have the solar panels on the tender anymore. Okay, somebody had said that we could do partial complete by clicking on the antenna. So, okay. So, allow partial. Let's try that. Okay, it's going to trickle in, I guess. Okay, we got 410 there. So, I don't know if it was because we don't have the tender and its solar panels anymore, and batteries, or whether it just requires the same amount of charge regardless of how much science you have in the mobile processing lab. Can't quite tell yet. I should have gotten it much less try to transmit. Here, now we have very little science in the science lab. Let me try and transmit and see what we get. Does it still take the same science? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, then 400 is too much if we are going to try to not have a trickle in. Maybe we should just send uh, ore drilling. Well, you know, a drilling unit just for Tylo is tough. It's not really what we want to exploit for fuel. Just that if we got land on it, we'd better be refueling on it. Uh, it's not really where we want to get or in order to refuel this, is what I mean. Okay, so let's say we pretend we wanted to do a survey scan. It wants 60 to 1,500. Okay, well, you know, we could get closer then. Okay, 95. Really tight periapsis. And now how much does it take to capture? Tylo has a lot of Oberth, right? Okay, I think it was 1500, right? So 435 should do. Spaceship 1 at Tylo. I mean, we flew by it before, but... Not like this. Okay, I better... Oh, up, 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 up. up. We need to actually retro burn and everything. Doesn't really look good like this. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the look of it looks like a piece of artwork rather than a world. Are we polar enough? Yeah, 88.4 degree inclination. Okay, that's a scanning orbit for us. So, finally, we get to use this. Not that, this. Form orbital survey. Okay, we got the orbital survey. And let's narrow things down a bit. 6.3 or at least. Well, even at a 90% cutoff, it's basically all over the place. Not the really nice craters, though. <laughs> uh, all the bumpier places. At least not those places. Some valleys. Okay, so we've got ore around here, around Tylo. Now, we've got 779. I don't think that's going to be enough. We need like 400 just to break orbit. So... Or 300 something. I mean, we could probably tag Val like that. But getting into orbit around Val safely, we don't want to be adrift in dual space. If we are, then we'll have to pay attention to it. So we have to really get to Val and capture 
it's about there that we actually get out of Tylo SOI. Well, that doesn't make it seem too bad. We do want it to be polar again. Uh, that's only 119. Will that be low enough for the scan? That's not exactly polar. Mm, I really don't want to leave this adrift though. But it's enough. So we'll go for it. We'll try and get Val too. But we might as well do some science here first. But how much can we really get from the surface of Tylo now? I don't think we were close. To, uh, well, maybe we were pretty close to Tylo. There was some ghosting there. Okay, let's see. Got five hours to make up our minds about the transfer to Val. Yeah, we can only do low over stuff. And that's if the surface biome is different. Let me see if I got the crew report. Yeah, I did. Okay, two periapsis again. Okay, this is new. Near Tylo we did not get then. Midlands. Craters. Lowlands. Okay, at this point I'll just wait until exit. Okay, we will try to go to Val. Okay, go. Okay, uh, just lower thrust, lower thrust. Smart ASS would be able to hold this. KOS would be able to hold this. Well, I'll take that and we'll replot. Okay, so we're head out from Tylo. And right here is the soonest we can do some other correction. There we have an encounter. So we don't need as much, it looks like. I hope in the interim Tylo doesn't interfere with us, because that's 13 days we're talking about. Ooh, that's more polar. Good. I don't know if it's polar enough, but... Oh, that should be good. And then capturing? Very light. Okay, so we have enough. If this is all okay. Uh, Tylo has to not mess with us, and we've got this sort of orbit going. We're really close to Val. I'm surprised we couldn't get one right away, but... Ooh, this one's getting a little bit close. But I think we're going to pass ahead safely. Ooh, ooh, it's catching up. <laughs> well, it would have showed us something by now. Alright, this time should be the winner. That's that's the tender actually coming in. Why does it have Oh, the rechargeable battery is sort of hanging out back there. I accidentally left one behind. Oops. <laughs> We've got space debris of of the usual kind. And I just left the battery hanging out there. Oh, let me give myself some time to turn. So that's like Val and Leith, huh? Leith is very much looking like Earth right there. Oh, I've still got the song credit up. Sorry about that. Um, that song credit is for when I stream. Is that Tylo poking out back there? I think that's Tylo. A little bit further away. Alright, better start early since I'm gonna go a little thrust. Okay, 2.1. And then we just have to capture. Looks polar to me. And we'll check once we get into the SOI exactly how much we need to bring it down. Alright. To Val. Okay, we are in Val SOI. I'm going to ask the scanner how much it needs. 32,500, so it'll be fine. We could get closer to Val even than this. Maybe I should. I don't know what low over Val is. So I'll just do a little radial. That's Lathe over there. Now it's looking like a sci-fi tech world. 
or maybe a space station. <laughs> and let me just check on the science right here. First, oh, we've already got 500 science in the mobile processing lab. Well, we're going to have to transmit it partially. Okay, we got that 500 science. Now, let's see what we can do. Is it still full? It's mostly still full. Okay, let me wait for some charge. More science. Even more science. Okay, and then let's redo some science. Oh, it's full. Okay, on to periapsis. Oh, what's our inclination? 88.2, yeah. Mobile well, is looking... Valley. Alright. Night. We just need to get below 1,500 kilometers. Well, assuming that that's in the SOI. It is, but maybe a little bit lower would be prudent. It will be under 1,000. And now... Survey scanner. 4.8 it says. But I'm not seeing results. Oh, maybe 9% cutoff is too much. Nope. Hmm. Val. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Oh, it seems to be the ridgiest areas. <laughs> uh, the least pleasant places to land. Yeah, pretty much the least pleasant places to land are places with the ore. Well, that's just fine. Alright, well anyway, we've got it done. I think that's enough Spaceship One for today. So, let's go back to the Space Center. Um, well, okay, fine. We can do quickly some additional science and then I'll go to the Space Center. Transmit that. Gravity. There's probably a lot of other gravity scans we could do. We could do a crew report. I forgot about doing that high. Okay, and we got Val's Mountains, which it sure does have. Pretty much full up on science in the lab, so we can't really shove more in. Alright, now we'll go back to Space Center. How much was all that? 3,938 we've got right now. So, that's a lot. <laughs> what did we need, actually? The rapier would be nice. We should send space planes to Lathe after all. Maybe that's our thing. Now. Big ore containers, though. Spending a thousand just for big ore containers. I don't think we need to go like that, but I'm not sure. The nuclear propulsion. It wants advanced fuel systems as well. So rare requires all. Well, fine. I'll get these. I'll get the nuke. Um, it's not as good as a swerve from KSP2, but hey. The claw. I need the claw. And then we'll invest in some aerodynamics. Well, okay. I'm just going to get plain things. I need the landing gear. And I'll get these. It's here. Let's, well, the shielded docking port is sort of nice, but that's not a whole lot. The GUR segment I could probably do without for now. I'm going after really big tanks. And really big engines. And then, then we'll really do stuff. I'm sure we'll get the science for... for the rapier eventually, but I'll get this hypersonic flight. So we're, I mean, we're pretty close to being done, uh, really, Spaceship One around Jewel could probably, uh, around Val even right now, could probably gather enough science to send into the science lab so that we clear most of this up. And, well, after that, it's just science for fun. Science for, rec uh, you know, increasing the science count will be the, will be the idea. Let me see if I can at least preview a new ore mining unit for Minmus. Because obviously our existing one took like three, four trips to fill up Spaceship One. That's not gonna be any good if we have a larger spaceship. And so I need one really, really big one.
All right, so here we have Harvester M, a more horizontal harvester. And that's because if we're going to use the large tank, we really don't want to orient it vertically. We could have some sort of cluster of shorter tanks, but I think I'm just gonna go whole hog here and go with the largest tank I can. But yeah, I thought about having like a bunch of these, you know, uh, attached to each other side to side. And that would be pretty good too. But this is okay. And the key thing here is that we need to keep it all balanced because we've got the engines like this. So the stuff in front here counterbalances the ISRU unit in the back. And in this case, we have the large ISRU unit. I've got two drills, one reaction wheel, one of these adapters, uh, three batteries, three trusses, and then a whole bunch of radiators. And if my calculator is correct, uh, that should be within 0.05 of the converter in the back. So or maybe 0.005. So that's good. And then otherwise, because it's all centered, it's all about this one tank, uh, the fuel situation is all going to be centered. Uh, it'll drain without changing the center of mass. So, you know, oh, well, we'll go down a bit. That's fine. And I also kept the mop propellant tanks centered as well and also the ore tank centered if in case we wanted to bring up ore so that's all good it's just fixed stuff on either end and then i used the landing gear because everything else looked dinky uh we've got dinky little landing struts those aren't any good we've got dinky little rover wheels those aren't any good so yeah so i had no choice we're going with the landing gear and that's just how it's going to be. Uh, you can see just uh, two pairs of solar panels. And that's about it. We've of course got the room for the engineer. We do have a controller on top. But I'm going to try to launch this next time. So we have to have a launcher. But then again, uh, right now, just with these cheetahs, we've got 6,000 meters per second. So it could probably get itself over to Minmus without slapping too much at the bottom. Uh, so, of course... The way I've got it up here is not super wonderful. I might, uh, before next time, decide to change this bit so that we have a fairing around this. And then maybe I'll add something to the back to counterbalance the fairing base. I don't know if I will need to do that. That's the trouble with the fairings, the stock fairings. I can't tell. I mean, I think they say how much the fairing base is. We're around here somewhere anyway so yeah fairings on front and then maybe some extra engines in the back for launch and we'll have our har our new harvester that can carry up to 288 tons of fuel to minimus orbit but of course it has to save some for itself but how much does it really need to save for itself oh practically nothing really uh definitely less than 10 percent so yeah he'll be able to do a very good job and then we'll be able to fuel, fuel really large starships without too many trips, hopefully. So that is the goal, and we'll see that in action next time. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.